It's time to get spooky. Welcome back to La Milana 2. I just got back from Harfest. I'm ready for archaeology. Crazy looking monsters and probably a hell's involved. Previously, we did the more boring parts of archaeology and we did some research. Getting Lamesa's last few notes and most of the data. Most of the glossary data is in our control now. I got I went back and got this Kotli Polka, like I said. The poison emitting mirror. You have to kill him with blocks. Because he has an obsidian body. He cannot be hurt by human weapons. Oh. Is this considered human anymore? It's a laser flail. It should work. Anyway, most of the data got. We don't have this one yet because we haven't been to that area yet. There's an area in Shrine of the Frost Giants we haven't been to. Everything else, pretty much. There's a couple in Eternal Prison, but we haven't been to those areas either. I think I know where this one is. The other one, I'm going to have to guess. I think it's in uh, that big statue of Racevelger. And then we have the main characters that still bugged, I think. And we got Weapon Fairy Kara's data. She'll slice up anything! Nope, no slicing for us. In fact, I'm getting my combat apps ready early. Don't need McCurry Master. Don't need Rosa Camellia. We need La Milana and Lonely House moving. And Rosa Camellia and Lo Lonely House moving for the extra life. That's my combat setup. Because we're going to hell. We're going to Underworld, more accurately. So it's time to walk the Seven Gates. But we're going to have to enter the world properly. That's why I killed Vid Vidfolnir. Or is it Vidofnir? I don't even remember anymore. Ah, I was going to check my glossary to see if I pronounced it right. I don't really care. It's dead. I have a damage aura now, too. Come to my flail. You want the flail. I'm immune to bats. I don't have to fear them anymore. Why do I keep fearing them? You know what? Yeah, let's just set a totem right there, just in case things go bad. Because it might go bad. So the first area is the proper entrance. We lose our grail as soon as we come in. That's why it takes away the grail here instead of when we teleport in. So our next stop is going to be up here. This gate. If you remember Nettie's little puzzle, that I can't look at right now because I have my combat set. You know what the heck with the combat set? We need, uh, Nettie. Nettie told us the proper path. There it is. Divine Chalice, Golden Gleaming Wrist Guard, Looter Breast Mount, Rustic Clothing, the Golden Wings, something that's been repurposed, and the Glove of Power. In that order. You just lost the Divine Chalice. How we know these things is because of the custodians up here. These wings and glove of power. Here's a chalice and the golden gleaming wrist guard. So we're looking for the one in the middle. It's got like two charms and it has a, a weird little letter N next to it. We need that gate. And if I am not mistaken, that gate happens to be this gate right up here. And it is! We're about to lose our golden gleaming wrist guard. And we end up here. Don't go in that gate over there. That, that gate's bad for you. In fact, it would have been very bad if I lost my double jump. That comes later. Anyway, we're here now. So we need to go to the lava door. We have a Gale Fibula to keep us from getting crushed. But we're about to lose the Gale Fibula that keeps us from getting crushed. Because we're heading down into the lava door here. No, I might as well make use of my rustic thing. Can't equip it when you have your whip out. Weird, huh? So this gate was the, uh, this thing. Has that weird letter I in it. So we just passed through the gate of... no gate. The lunar breastplate. We just lost it. That was our Gale Fibula. Well, good riddance. I hated it anyway. It made me run into walls. I hate that thing. So now we have to head upwards. The next gate is above us. 
So are a whole bunch of Lucifers. Man, I'm gonna hate all this jumping and I don't have my double jump anymore. Because it's just gonna rob us. Can you kindly die? Thank you. I think I have drop bonuses, so I'm getting a lot more souls than I should. So the next gate we're going through is right here. You need to use the clay doll suit to get into here. And that one has the letter F in it. So that should be... the rustic and repurposed. Once we enter, we lose the clay doll suit. Goodbye. Now it looks like we're stuck in here. We can't double jump out of here. But there's a rock here. You pushed a rock into place. Where are we going after this one? Oh, we're heading to the Nippa Heller. So we're gonna have to cross the river Styx. We're gonna have to go to where the bomb was. Would you, do you mind? Thank you. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to cross the river Styx because there's no way out of that room otherwise. So Sharon is important here. Or at least Sharon's boat. I don't know where he went. He went to open a noodle shop, I guess. So I can't grab walls anymore. Luckily, I can still auto-save. That's a good thing. So we have to head in this direction. There's an app I could go looking for, but um, I'm losing my equipment, like, left and right. So maybe we should do that a little bit later. I want to get that fairy. I want to make sure I'm at, like, full health. Or close to it. And Iyer will make this possible. I really hate this room because you have a high chance of getting stuck in lava, and those Lucifers will make sure you don't get out. So, where are we going here? I forgot which gate it is, so we're just gonna have to check gates. This one has, like, a weird-looking letter R. So, what's our next path? Nitty. Golden Wings. So, Golden Wings is... a weird-looking letter R, near the top. So it should be this one. Yep, this is the right gate. I'll have to come back to this room later, too. And we lose our wings in the room where Harry's Felger was. In Philanda Forad. Oh, I remember the, the glossary I'm missing. It's the Harry's Felger data right above us. Nope, can't get it now. I can't double jump anymore. Thanks a lot. Now I feel naked. So we lost our double jump. And we have to go to the room right of Nettie's room. And as you can see, there's a rock in our way. I thought the rock would stay destroyed. Sadly, that is not the case. Luckily, there's a way around. We can't double jump, and we have to get into that bottom path there. Luckily, there is a little pillar right here being blocked by a rock that we could use our bombs on. So we gotta blow up this rock again. And now we'll be able to move that pillar, once I find my way around. It's gonna require some funky jumping and not getting juggled by spikes. If you end up in an area you're not supposed to, those crusher things... They'll disable because you no longer have the Gale Fibula, so you can just go down to the lava pit and come around. I forgot to push this thing! I need to push this thing! You have to push it from down here. Doesn't work like that, Lamisa. Give yourself a little bit of a platform, and then you jump for it. This is the room we need to be in. The gate here is the way forward. We're almost done walking the gates. We only have a couple more items left. I think this is something repurposed. Yep, it's that letter F again. So the lady that's something repurposed is that letter F. This is the correct gate. Now we got this one. Also, I don't remember this Hecaton Kier being here before. I think the game is going hard mode on us. So we don't have Anchor anymore, which means we are now floatable again. And luckily I destroyed the rock in here, so we could just go down without touching lava. Because we don't have our uh, Play Doll Suit either. Man, I'm getting so much soul. Lamalana Lamalana 2 is a good combination. And a new gate appears. That should be the final gate. That should be the gate of the, um... Glove of Power. So we'll lose our ability to push. That has a letter C, or a Pac-Man, or something like that. Kind of reminds me of that old Atari game. 
um, it, was, it was about fast food, and it was a mouth that looked like that one. Yeah, I know, I'm old. See, there's the Pac-Man. Enter this gate! And we just walk the gates. We get this. It allows us to get the backside, backside version of Eternal Prison. The Prison of Doom. And it opens the walls for us. Don't do the gates, or you do them in a weird order. This gate right here will try to murder you, even if you try to walk past it. But we walk the gates, so we're fine. That's Hell's Gate right there. You see, it's fancier than the others. Also, that could happen. So don't try jumping down the pit, either. Now you see why I auto-saved. But I kind of want to be over there. Did I get all my powers back? No, I didn't get my powers back. I don't think we get our powers back until Hell is dead. Or we leave the Eternal Prison for some reason. But there's a glossary right up here. It's the Hell data! Hi, Hell! You're looking very anime. I swear I've seen that woman in, like, many, many animes. So where's Hell? There's Hell, number nine. She's a child of the six children's trickster. Try to say that three times fast. She has a skull hand. She was rotten from birth. She realized she had a skeleton. She was like, you know what? Let's just get that thing right out. Right now. She has the ability to raise the dead. Well, I hope she doesn't try to raise herself. That would be a bad idea. Why did I do that? I'm not quite sure how you get out of that room now. now I gotta get that data again. I need to try not falling. I said I need to try not falling. What are you doing? Ah! Hands! All I want is the data back. Give me the data back. I just want double jumping, at least. I can't even use my Holy Grail. It's still restricted to me. You gotta die. You just gotta die right now. Ah. I need that data. I need to find a way to get out of that room with the data. Is there a way to get out of this room without the data? With the data? Or does it... Do I have to kill Hell first and then get her data? Because I think that might be the case. Oh, no. I could just do that. Edge jumping for the win! Hell, I really hate your hands. Oh, one wish. Um, let me just let's, let's jump ahead here. Um, I wanted to check this place out. Yay! Wait, no. Hold on a second. So I have chosen poorly. So, we already checked this place out many times. That's the wrong answer. Ha hi again. We just met. Mm, we're not leaving. Something tells me she takes that literally. I'm here to kick your ass! Oh, you have no idea. You didn't unequip any of my powerful weapons. All you did is take away double jumping. So we need an Ong Jewel. Luckily, I bought myself an Ankh Jewel. You could have used the one from Ratatosker's room in here too, but I used them out of order. So this one's supposed to be uh, Hall of Malices. It's yours now. Let's battle. The final boss is here. Well, final guardian, at least. Hell. Uh, are you gonna uh, do a thing? Do I need to jumpstart you with some flares? I'm willing to do that. I got all the money in the world. Oh, you're looking very tentacly. You're looking very motherly, if you ask me. But anyway, she kind of like sticks around near the middle of the room. And her skulls kind of get stopped by shield. Which means she's just like a, a sitting target for whip power. Speaking of whip power, I should have that. There we go. Now we're probably ready to defeat her. Oh, hey! You didn't have that before. So she's got laser spears now. And she likes to go back to the center of the room after a while. So basically, the whole trick is just to wait till she's done having a flurry. 
She'll go back to the room and make sure you're low enough that you can actually whip her in the face a few times. D do you mind not doing that for a second and letting me wail on you? I was expecting her to, like, go to the middle. Kind of like that. And she has laser columns, which are kind of annoying. No, I'm just gonna wait a little bit down here. Ah, I was about to say she can't spear me from down here. I think she got a little bit of an upgrade. She's a little annoying. Either that or I'm just being reckless. And and guess what? If, if you uh, get to the ceiling, guess what happens? You would get crushed. Okay, let's try that again. She's kind of annoying, a little bit like Echidna, but she's not as bad. I'm just being reckless. What I need is to have my apps immediately. That's what I sh should do. That way I can get some free damage in on her. You know what, I'm going to use spears this time. Yeah, the heck with flares, I'm not wasting flares on you. I know you're going to go berserker on me anyway. You're going to turn into a worm thing any moment now. There we go. And get the shield for the skulls. I keep on trying to double jump, and it's not working, because she still has all my stuff. Also, I can't get to the other side of her, because she blocks this whole thing. Okay, now it's spear time, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to exploit my invincibility frames. That'll work. Look how much damage I'm doing now with exploiting invincibility. Ah, I'm caught up here again. I'm in fail corner. Don't be in fail corner. You get back to the middle so I could whip you. Thank you. The thing is, she likes... She... I wasn't paying attention. You gotta pay attention. Mind your surroundings, Lamiza. Let's try this again. I got her pattern this time. She's not a hard boss. I'm just overconfident. That's my problem. Once again, welcome hell. Um, you know what? Bombs! Throw upwards, Lamiza! She has a hitbox, like, right around her... upper torso region. There we go. Bombs got to have a showing for once. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get down to business, to defeat the Huns! I'm just going to wait for the skulls, then whip you a whole bunch. In the face. While you're waiting for your spear. I'm going to stay down here now. I'm going to stay down below. In the underground. Maybe that's what she wants. She wants me to know my place. Kind of in concentration mode now. I'm waiting for the reset, and I'm also waiting for a middle platform to show up so I can stand on it and whip her in the face a whole bunch. Here she goes with her, di her damage again. All over the place. Just throwing out that damage. Maybe I should be exploiting my sub weapons more. That might be in my favor. I think her spear actually does less damage than anything else. I'm not quite sure how that happened! She had a lot more health, didn't she? Well, I, I guess she's dead now. Awesome! She's gonna fall apart into pieces, like Dracula. Oh! No, no, no! We do not revive! Also, she got creepy looking. Just in time for Halloween. You know, I remember her being a lot easier the last time. I think Nigoro upgraded her. Heck of a lot more health this time. I got my apps. I'm ready to kill Miss Creepy Face. I got a second life too. Which is gonna be helpful. You're not allowed to revive! Only I'm allowed to do that. You don't have the app combination for it. Die! A second time! And this time, stay dead! Ridiculous! It's a good thing those platforms don't crush her on the way down. But finally. The Ninth Guardian is defeated. We finally killed Hell. Wait, I thought I killed you. I told you not to revive. 
I hope she doesn't mean that in the way I think she means that. Being death crazed and all? Yeah, she means that. She's on the child side. I don't like her. And now she explodes into dissonance. This is the dissonance of all the children trapped in the underworld. But not quite all of it. The bear still seems kind of normal. It's not like it's satiated yet. Also, we get the Book of the Dead. So I was kind of mistaken in saying that there isn't an item that prevents you from getting your life sapped. But it still reduces the damage, not completely removes it, like it did in the first game. Eh, I'm still missing all my stuff, though. And I can't use the Holy Grail, which means I need to find a gate out of here. Man, Underworld sucks! I thought hell would bring my stuff back. I'm gonna need to find a blue gate. Okay, there's a blue gate. I'm just on the wrong side of it. So I was mistaken. I, I thought I'd get all my items back when I kill hell. We're still kind of at a, a, a loss at some items. But at least we get a full heal. That's a good thing. And I don't think I used up my second life either. That's okay. When I start the game over again, it'll just give me another second life. So it had to drop me in the lava just to show that it had angst. So what can we do now? We, we, we killed a ninth guardian. I expected things to start going bedlam up in here seems kind of normal, you know? I get my regular apps back. Uh, we can do other things. Hmm, what can we do in a short amount of time? Ah, uh, all of these kind of will take a while. Yeah, let's just make it another short video. Why the heck not? We defeated a hell. That's all you get for Spooky. Go out and enjoy the Spooky while you still can. Is it going to get a lot more spooky from here on out? It's not Halloween yet. It's only Harfest. Good night, folks.